God. Yes, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we invite you in, God. We invite you into this home, Lord Jesus. And we just thank you for tonight, God, that you are going to um, uh, say what you want to say, God, on this subject, Lord Jesus, God. And I just thank you, God, for wisdom, God, for kindness yes, on our God. tongues. I just thank you, God, for all that you are doing at Higher Place Church. I thank you, God that this uh, ministry is reaching um, those who might not be reached any other way, Lord God. So we thank you for the hearts of the people that are listening. And God, give them ears to hear, Lord Jesus. And um, I just thank you, God. Just open their ears to, to, to your word, God, and open their spirits to uh to to your truth lord jesus yes, and we just Father. thank you for that we thank you for our children we thank you god for everybody who uh considers themselves a part of higher place church bless their lives protect them god and give them great favor everywhere they go and we ask this in jesus, jesus mighty name jesus amen name. glory to god can you help me with these bgvs maybe okay yeah you can, because Jay Moss needs a little help with these background vocals. Okay, here we go. This is, can, uh, I hope I get this thing right. Here we go.
have to practice. Yeah, if you don't practice, you lose it. Some more. Oh, trust me, I need to practice. It's all good. God is good. Mm -hmm. You forget one of the stupidity. Right. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure that her vocal is loud enough. Because I'm not gonna, I don't, I can't control the keyboard from what I'm gonna stand. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, oh. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, oh. Here you go, baby. Just a little sound check as we roll along. All right, honey. Just make sure. Just tell me if the piano's too loud. Okay. I will let you know. Okay. All right, guys, invite somebody on, okay? I am so smart. <laughs> you unplugged the piano. I unplugged, I unplugged the piano. Wow. That's a good thing. Sorry for the technical difficulties tonight, All guys. Right, so just call it. I'm so Thank you for your so patience. Annoying. We've been so... We're just going to, this is going to wind up being a part three. <laughs>
chose me interesting interview with her you would be um you'd be really really surprised to know that she is not a christian really that girl's not a christian what is she sorry we're just trying to get the camera right again <laughs> okay um see it's funny yeah you'd be I mean, very it's simple simple little Periscope thing, and mm -hmm. we got nine million things. No, we we yeah. need help. We're still, yeah. Please pray for help for us. We, Honey, we need can you fix the camera, cameras. sweetheart? Please fix the camera. Just push it over here, just over yeah. this way a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. We're just, there you go. Stand closer. To there you go. Too. There you go. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> well, she herself calls this transgender mania. She calls it transgender media wow. because it's just it's everywhere you look in in the media. So, um, I mean, uh, Caitlin Bruce Jenner is on the uh, cover of Sports Illustrated. Is, is I think that's now? the first transgender on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Did you hear that? Is he on there now? I don't know if he's on there now or he's going to, but I know he's going to be. I don't know if that's already out or, or what, what the deal is with that. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the Proud to be You YouTube videos um, that keep on popping up in your, in your feed. Um, Proud to be who? Proud to be you. <laughs> Proud to be wow. you YouTube videos. So you're, I mean, not that they force you to watch it, but, you know, it's, that's what comes up. You know, sure. that's what they're promoting on, on YouTube is the proud to be and it's all uh, and it's all transgender. Wow. And um, LGBT. Yes. You know, somebody asked and, me this they asked mm -hmm. me this one time, they said, Well, if you were in a church, say a church invited you in, which they don't, because mm -hmm. we didn't want to hear the truth. But what if they did invite you in, okay? I mean most of them ninety percent won't, because they're afraid of losing members. Oh wow. You see, wow. See, the thing is, we can't lose members here. That's too bad. That's too bad. <laughs> right? Instead of, no, not, uh, instead of winning, no, no, instead of winning disciples, you're winning members. Yeah, yeah we're, right. And we're trying to win God. We're right. We're trying to win God. Right. That's to, all. No, I'm just saying, you know, it's all, God's and, that, and that's okay. And not man's. And yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Because you know what? Our call is to expose the works right. of darkness. Right. Again, this a is a subject we, another subject that we, don't really care to talk about. This but, is not you know, exciting it's, for us, this but, is something but I'll that, be honest with you. It is, it, it, but it's, again, this is in the minds and the hearts of the people, and God today. wants us to speak on this. Well, yeah. you know what? I don't want a repeat of Sodom and Gomorrah. I don't know about you, Veronica. I don't want a repeat. I, well, does it God, will be repeated. It yeah, will. but I understand Jesus that, but I don't want to coming back, in, uh, and, and it will be as the days of Lot, which is Sodom I, and Gomorrah. I understand that. Yeah. Which so is pretty there's, horrible. It's, it's inevitable because it's prophetic and it's in the Word of God. So, there you so are. but we uh, we are the light of the world, and as as the world grows darker, we need to become brighter. And one you more know? thing, real love so. is telling people truth. Amen. Amen. That's the bottom That's line. That's our motto. Right. Loving you, higher place <laughs> church, loving you to the truth. Why would so. we want to hurt somebody? No. No, Why would we want to ever This is not hurt intended somebody. to offend right. anyone. Correct. It's not. It's not our intent. So I just want to talk a little well, bit Jesus about what. Either. Yeah, I just want to but talk a little bit people. about what she said. Okay, I mean, no. so much. She talks so fast. 
Um, basically, she said, um, I think that the transgender propagandists make wildly inflamed claims about the multiplicity of gender. Sex reassignment surgery, even today with all of its advances, cannot in fact change anyone's sex. You can, define yourself, you can define yourself as trans man or trans woman as one of these new uh, gradations along the scale, but ultimately every single cell in the human body, the DNA that is in the cell, remains coded for your biological birth. So there are a lot, there, so there, this is what she says, so there are a lot of lies being propagated at the present moment, which I think is not in, the, in anyone's best interest. She said, now what I'm concerned about is the popularity and the availability of sex reassignment surgery so that someone who doesn't feel that he or she belongs to the biological birth gender, um, uh, people are being encouraged to intervene in the process. Parents are now encouraged to, sub subject, uh, to subject the child to procedures that I think are a form, that she thinks are a form of child abuse. The hormones to slow puberty, actual surgical manipulations, etc. I think this is wrong, that people should wait until they are of an informed uh, informed age of consent. Parents should not be doing this to their children. Yeah. And I think that even in the teenage years, it is too soon to be making this leap. People change, people grow, and people adapt. Now, I'm concerned about this. In fact, in my study of history and sexual personae, I am talking about the late phases of culture. I was always drawn to late or decadent phases of culture. Oscar Wilde is one of the great exponents of that late 19th century. He's one of the strongest influence from the earliest years. And I found that in, in my study, that history is cyclic, cyclical. And everywhere in the world, you have this pattern in ancient times, that as a culture begins to decline, you have an efflorescence Whoa. of transgender phenomena. Whoa. That is a symptom of cultural <clears throat> collapse. So rather than people singing the praises of humanitarian liberalism that allows all of these transgender possibilities to appear and to be encouraged, I would be concerned about how Western culture is defining itself to the world. Because in fact, this phenomena are inflaming the irrational, indeed borderline psychotic opponents of Western culture in the form of ISIS and other jihadists, etc. Nothing better defines the decadence of the West to the jihadists than our toleration of open homosexuality and this transgender mania now. Okay, this is what yeah. the information you found today. But I want you to go on because this to me, yeah. this, is a homo this is a lesbian. Yes, yes, this, you guys, you would be surprised to know that Camille Paglia is, uh, first of all, she's an American uh, academic and social <laughs> critic, okay? She has a, uh, uh, a huge voice in the academic world. And um, she is a professor at the University of Arts of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, the New York Times has described her as first and foremost an educator. She was educated at Syracuse University, Yale University, and Binghamton University, okay? And she happens to also be a lesbian activist. That was the girl we just okay. saw. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Yes. So she's not a believer. She's not so a believer. So she's not coming she's from a biblical perspective, people. Understand, this is great information. And she, in fact, considers herself a part of the LGBT community. That's what's so <laughs> wild. Wow. She said, and I found another quote from her, and this is, this is absolutely going to blow your mind. Um, she says, homosexuality, this, now she's a lesbian, okay? She says, homosexuality is not normal. On the contrary, it is a challenge to the norm. Nature exists whether academics like it or not. And in nature, procreation is, is the single relentless rule. That is the norm. Our sexual bodies were designed for reproduction. No one is born gay. The idea is ridiculous. Homosexuality is an adaptation not an inborn trait. This is not a pastor? No. This, this is, is not a bishop? This is a lesbian. It's a lesbian. Yes, but as the New York Times described her, she's first and foremost an educator. Wow. So obviously wow. her education See, 
no, comes I before this, I me being an educator comes before anything. No, no, because obviously she so. read Luke 11, 50, 52, yeah. where Jesus said, you're hiding the truth from the people. She's not hiding no, anything. No, She's exposing yeah. the truth. Whether you she like it, care. gay people or she don't, don't like care. it. She values education more than being part of the LGB community, LGBT right. community. Right. She values that more, That's, and that is... Well, could she lose her membership? That is, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Maybe. That's deep. Yeah. That's really I, deep. I know, it, it's... it's. When, I, you, when you read that to me today, I, I could, I'm yeah. still spinning yeah. from what she said. Keep on keep Well, on here, yeah, here is another quote from her. Um, now, you, you guys remember a little bit about the Kinsey report uh, that we talked about, uh, mm. this man who... Uh, manipulated all the figures to yeah. to uh, to make uh, sexual uh, immorality and sexual deviancy a normal thing. He he, uh, and, and, the, and at the same time, he ended up abusing, sexually abusing over two thousand children. Okay, this was uncovered by Dr. Judith Reisman. So, um, Kinsey was the one who came up with this ten percent figure. Of homosexuality. So this is what she's talking about. Um, she said the 10% figure um, ser servilely repeated by the media was pure propaganda. And it made me, as a scholar, despise gay activists for their unscrupulous discard, uh, I'm sorry, unscrupulous disregard for the truth, their fibs and fabrications continue. The fibs. And fabrications wow. continue now about the still fragmentary evidence for, uh, for a genetic link to homosexuality and for homosexual behavior among animals. Among so this animals? Is, this, is, this is continuing to be perpetrated, guys. She is saying this is propaganda. I have a... a um, the, uh, I have a definition for propaganda, and it's uh, by the Urban Dictionary, which is kind of uh, an interesting, kind of different ur um, dictionary. It's called the Urban Dictionary. It says, when a government says one thing to intentionally get the public to believe something that is mostly lies. Wow. <laughs> wow. And I mean, every, every, everywhere you look, wow. they're working towards this goal <clears throat> of Propaganda, which is lies, basically is getting the public to believe lies. That's what Hitler did. Well, think about the marketing. Of you this. know, to to kill all, exterminate six million Jewish people. It was propaganda. He dehumanized yeah. these people. That's yeah. how he was able I to. Want you, I want you to read on how 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 people equate um, um, slavery. To homosexuality and how they use the how, the how ridiculous that is to even compare yeah, yeah, the, the so plight well, of a black man to mm -hmm. the ridiculousness of this perversion that is on men yeah okay. it's, it's a well I found a, a, pe a piece of information that was just absolute that is going to guys I, I hope somebody is on invite we, somebody on this is right. so important Very guys important. this is so important because we are going to uh expose something okay here that i, I don't think you're going to see everywhere okay you're not going to just be easily be able to google this okay Come on, baby. um so i found a piece of information of <laughs> a book and i actually was able to get a copy of the outline of it and it's called and see, I just want to prove to you guys that this is propaganda. This is what we want to prove, that this is lies. This, it's an whole, this whole push yeah. of this LGBT yeah. and transgender mania, yeah. this whole agenda mm -hmm. is lies, is based on lies, okay? And so this is what I want to prove to you guys. So please invite somebody on. Um, this book is called after the ball, how America will conquer its fear and hatred of gays in the 90s. So this is, we're in 2016. So this is like, yeah. So this book, also 
this this was written by very very educated people marshall kirk and hunter matheson both graduated harvard ok they both graduated harvard ok so i was able to get an outline of this book and number one number one in their in their outline is uh... it says campaign of unabashed propaganda ok this is this is a book called after the ball how america will conquer its fear and hatred of gays in the nineties says here campaign of unabashed propaganda firmly grounded in long established principles of psychology and advertising hmm. so that's why you see this everywhere you go on youtube on magazines on television um, so that is their main uh... one of their main goals uh... for for this for this book okay which is propaganda in itself um, he says um, how to halt, derail, or reverse the engine of prejudice. He says conversion of the average American's emotion, mind, and will through a planned psychological attack in the form of propaganda fed to the nation via the media. So this is what is happening. It's a it's a planned psychological attack in the form of propaganda okay fed to us via the media okay so and then, he, then they say but it makes no difference that the ads or advertising are lies mm. it makes no difference yeah, well, that they're lies well, hold on. Let's, let's, he's saying they're lies yeah, well, just like Camille was saying this is propaganda this is lies. I mean, um, oh, it says here, success mm -hmm. depends on flooding the media. Guys, if you feel like this is being, uh, you know, shoved down your throat, if you will, it's because it is. Success depends on flooding, they are flooding the media with this, with this propaganda, with this, this agenda. Okay, that's why you see, that's why they call, they're calling it transgender mania. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, it says, success depends on flooding the media. That in turn means money, man hours, and unifying the homosexual community for a concerted effort. And they absolutely have done that. Okay? Um... It says, learn from Madison Avenue to roll out the big guns. Homosexual, uh, hom hom homosexuality must launch a large-scale campaign. Gosh, this is a large-scale campaign. We, we've called it waging, we've called it waging peace campaign. <laughs> I don't know what's peaceful about it. Um, it says, to reach straights, okay? Okay, if you're a straight person, they're trying to reach you through mainstream media guys I hope somebody's hearing this I hope someone is listening okay and it says here we're talking about propaganda okay you know what if we lose all of our viewers because of this so be it but we're going to uncover lies okay hang one second because you mentioned Madison right well this goes against the transgenders and the homosexuals this goes right to the married couples, people. Ashley Madison. If you're not familiar with Ashley Madison, this is your adultery program that you can get on the internet and you can have an adulterous affair without, even, without your wife knowing it. There it is, right there. Shh, right? Here we are, people. This is what... We said it is, is pornography adultery. Now it's like, oh, is adultery adultery? <laughs> right. I mean, there it is on television. Like there it is. Adultery. Right there. Like, Canada. We're proud of, where, of our adultery. <laughs> not only Canada legalized bestiality, but now they promote adultery. Why bother getting married? Yeah. If you're going to do these things, yes. why right. tear down the constitution of marriage mm -hmm. with your homosexuality, yeah. with your adultery, with your bestiality, with your transgenderism, 
people, don't you yeah. understand? Yeah. Yeah. This is not going to end well for the, for them, that group of humans. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, I share this with but the pastor. Again, this Hold is on. part I of the with, whole sexual I shared revolution. this with the pastor, and he was sharing with me that he had a couple of homosexuals in his, in his congregation. And I said, well, are you bold about speaking about homosexuality, transgender, and all this? He goes, no, 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 we, we, we use wisdom. Okay. I said, no. I said, so basically, you're allowing them to live together. Again, they may die tomorrow, then what's gonna happen? Okay, you're afraid to lose membership. Stop the membership campaign and stop the Jesus campaign. Start saving souls yeah. from hell. This is what this is about. Yeah. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. Yes. Um, all right. Um, so this is this uh, adultery mm -hmm. website is is really is is a part of what we're talking about because guys, it's all in the category of <sighs> sexual immorality. All right, and and God hates it. All right, and you cannot inherit Wait, the kingdom say? of God. God what? Hates it. Wow. So yeah. why would you do something that God hates? Yeah, yeah. But again, if you do praise and worship, you can you can do whatever you want, mm -hmm. right? Is that what it is? You can worship your way out of your adultery, or whatever whatever the case may be. You can repent your way out of adultery. <laughs> well, that's what Jesus said: repent or yes. likewise perish. Yes, amen. He says, "And are you any better than they are?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, part back to this book. The t it says here the term propaganda. Because, guys, everyone should know this information. This is how I feel. I feel so passionately about this. Like like the Alice Bailey, 10 Points of Rebellion. Like awesome. the way that I felt about awesome that. Awesome I feel about this. It says here, the term propaganda applies to any deliberate attempt to persuade the masses via public communications media. Okay? The purpose and effect of pro-gay propaganda is to promote a climate of increased tolerance for homosexuality wow. guys and we've already promoted a climate of increased tolerance tolerance for adultery and everything else and fornication <clears throat> why not promote a climate of increased tolerance for homosexuality for transgenderism and and so on and so forth jesus didn't promote tolerance <laughs> That's they, right. A lot of these preachers Paul use, said not to put up with yeah, it. A lot of preachers use grace yeah. as tolerance. Great tolerance is not grace. Yeah. Sorry, people. Great, pastors go and, and go back and get grace study your word. Grace is how we're saved. <clears throat> grace is how we stay saved Amen. and how we um, have the power uh, to escape. It's not sin. weak. Yeah. It's not meek. Mm -hmm. It's not you. Don't do not belittle my father yeah. with your foolishness. Well, three characteristics distinguish propaganda from other modes of communication and contrib contribute to its sinister reputation. I'm, singing, I'm, I'm speaking from after the ball book uh, outline. Uh, relies on emotional manipulation. So they emotionally <laughs> manipulate Like my mother you. and my sister. Yeah, they were manipulated. That's what they were. That's the facts. Yeah. You know, by family members who were gay. And I love them to life. If you're watching, I love you. But the reality is you manipulated my mom and my sister to get on your side for your gay agenda instead of caring about their their life, really. I mean, it's right. horrible. So number one, emotional manipulation. Number two, use lies. It says it right here. Use lies. Ooh. Use lies. Number three. I, I can't believe, I mean, use this lies. It says, use right there. lies. And this is an educated woman. No, no, this is from the two Harvard men. Oh, oh two, two, two yes. educated guys. Yes. Now, are they Christian? They're homosexual, Angela. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> right, Somebody right. may right. not may not know out there what we're right, talking about. Right, right, right. Can you be gay and be a Christian? You guys can go to that to that video on a Periscope. And oh, tell me that you are <laughs> uploading all our videos too. Yes, yes, we're working on uploading all these videos to YouTube so you guys will be able to see Re these, yeah. see, you know, see them back, uh, you know, as much as you like pretty Absolutely. soon. So number three, Great. subjective and one-sided. Tell our story, uh, tell our side of the story as movingly as possible. In the battle for the 
in the battle for hearts and minds, okay? <laughs> battle for the hearts and minds. Effective propaganda knows enough to put its best foot forward. This is what our own media campaign must do. All right? It says, carefully crafted, repeatedly displayed mass media images of homosexuality. That's why you see it, see them, see, uh, see it in the movies, you see it on television, the, everywhere. The White House. Where you, yes, the, the White building. House, yes. Yeah. That's right. Um, it says, to be accepted by the most prestigious media, such as network television, or messages themselves will have to be, at least initially, mm -hmm. both subtle in purpose and crafty in construction. All right, so this used to be very subtle, yeah. but now it's very much yeah. blatant. It was right in your face. It's blatant. It's out in the open. Right. So it says you can forget about trying to write up Right up front to try and persuade folks that homosexuality is a good thing. It's hidden in so plain don't, sight. Yes. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. It's like it's it's crept up on you, crept up on yeah. you, and you don't even... Yeah. You, you, I'm sure people are just shocked mm -hmm. by by what we're even reading because it's it's creeped up on them for so long, all of us, you know? It says here, but if you can get them to think it's just another thing, if you're saying, oh, this is just another thing, this, you know. So, right. Yeah, this is what they want. Meriting no more than a shrug of the shoulders. If you just shrug your shoulders at this, guys, whoever is listening right now, if you're just shrugging your shoulders, uh, says, yeah. listen to this, then your battle for legal and social rights is virtually won. Their battle for legal and social rights is won over you, okay? over you, all right? So wow. if you just shrug your shoulders, and I remember there was a time in my life, I was just kind of shrugging my shoulders. I didn't want to hear about it. I, 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 I wouldn't, right, go on, I wouldn't right. have gone on this periscope. No way, you know, a, no a, way. Even a year ago, I don't think. I'm like, oh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, just, you know, I can only kind of just pass it off, shrug your shoulders. And I can only speak, Veronica, of where we've been for 24 years. And they're the, saying. In the gospel mm -hmm. arena yeah. for 24 years. And I can ma barely count on both my hands, or one hand, the straight people. That's just the reality, people. This gospel music is run by the gay gospel agenda. It's a, it's, it's, it's a movement, and it, it amazes me because most secular people will come out and say they're gay. But Christians, see, here's, and here's the problem. I have no, you know what, if you want to be gay, Go right ahead. That's your choice to do what you want. I don't approve of it, and I, I, it's, not be, it's not your best life forward, but if you choose to be gay, then that's fine. You, you chose that to be right. gay. But be do yeah. not tell me you're a Christian. I don't know what the big hype is about being a Christian I, and being I gay. I know, when since Christianity is so, so unpopular. It's on the decline in, as far as popularity. Yeah, most churches, yeah. are, most churches yeah. have a decline of of membership, okay? So, so what I'm saying is, so what's the big deal yeah. about being a Christian? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you want to be a Christian? Because you know what? Because when they think about their death, that's when the light comes on. As all of us, with all of us. Yeah, right. you know, that's right. That, 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 that's, it's like, wait a minute, where am I going to be after I leave here? So that's why we have to be obedient, Veronica, you know what, pastors or friends or whatever, if you're out there, it's difficult to obey God. You know, it's easy to say, oh, I love the Lord, I worship Him. Okay, but do you really love Him? Because if you love Him, you'll obey Him. And if you obey Him, that's the greatest... Yeah, yes. That's the greatest position we can have as a Amen. believer. Amen, yes. Is obedience. That's right, that's right. That's right. Um, so guys, if you, if you're shrugging your shoulders and you're saying, you know, this doesn't concern me, um, you know what I'm saying? Then the battle, the, I'm sorry, their battle for legal and social rights is won. Okay. So don't just shrug your shoulders and, and be like, oh, this doesn't concern me. Cause again, this concerns all of us. Okay. It says here, 
Um, now this is, this is, again, talking about the media, how they're going to propagate lies, okay? It says here, gays must be portrayed as victims in need of protection so that straights will be inclined by reflex to adopt the role of protector. I mean, that's basically what just happened, yeah. you know? Yeah where gays were portrayed, at the, and I'm not saying that there aren't real victims Absolutely. of crime, I'm not saying that, um, but, I mean, it says it right here. They must be portrayed as victims in need of protection, so that well, straight will be- What does our media do, honey? Be a protector our media, for them. Our media, all these folks are, are for the gay agenda, and if you speak yeah. out against it, then you're wrong. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you're, you're evil, you're a hater, you're mean, you're, no, but wait a minute, but, but, it's all, yeah, but you can shove it down our throats, and we right. have to take it. Right, exactly. How is that even fair? It's not. It's no, not. If the, you devil, have, the devil never plays fair. No. Mm -hmm. You know what, if you want to have this discussion, I tell people all the time, people, if you're going to give me a response, not a, not a, not a cuss word on, the, on Periscope, yeah, or, yeah. oh, I hate you, you're a hater, all this nonsense, give me the word of God, like my wife is bringing you, Bring the word of God and say, brother, this is where you're in error. Okay, okay. Well, if I'm in error, show me in the word of God. Don't give me your opinion. Don't give me CNN's opinion. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear from the word of God. Mm -hmm. So as long as we're doing God's will, which we are, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, mm -hmm. because we're in the word, Amen. okay? Amen. And so, yeah. that, so we're bringing the word. Yeah. So Sorry. if you're going to give an educated response, Give an educated response in God's word. That's yeah, all. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Um, so now here, and I just want to finish the, some of the points of this outline because it's just it's just unbelievable. And I'd be glad to send you the link for this. Um, anybody who's interested in looking at this, again, everyone needs to know this. Gays should be portrayed as victims of prejudice. <laughs> okay, so this is another thing that they are creating in the no, media. No, no. Gays should be uh, uh, portrayed as victims of prejudice, okay? Um, make victimizers look bad. They are trying to make the victimizers look bad. The, the objective is to make homo-hating beliefs and actions look so nasty that average Americans will want to disassociate themselves from them. Now here's the actual advertising task tactics, okay? So you guys will be familiar with this. Television, best because it teaches the widest amount of people. It's the most intrusive medium. Change picture, label, pair, best on TV. Radio reaches millions daily, intimate medium. Magazines, good vehicles, good vehicle for the gay message. More affordable than TV blitz, less intrusive, and packs less punch. Newspapers do even less to build legitimacy than uh, magazines. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, outdoors, billboards, display ads in public areas, subway placards, etc. Excellent job of reaching a broad audience over and over. Message must be simple and and benefit from being seen over and over again. Guys, the goal, and it says here from this book, after the ball, goal is to desensitize straights yep. to homosexuality. Yep. Okay? So this is the propaganda, okay, that uh, Camille is talking about and that these two gentlemen, uh, Harvard graduates that wrote this, that wrote this book after the ball, guys, and it, and they themselves are saying, this is lies. Yep. Okay? So guys, I mean, the word of God is telling you that these things are not of him, okay? And that they're not truth, that they are lies. Huh? You know, how much more are you, are you going to, should you believe this, okay? What is, is being told, okay? by people willing to speak up in the LGBT community and, and say, look, yes, these are lies, okay? And this is an agenda, all right? 
So I hope that, you know, I hope that we can drive that home, you know, so that people can make an informed an, an decision. An educated decision and yeah. an edu educated choice of their, of their, of their. Now, my next question is, and, and maybe you guys are wondering, why is this agenda being pushed? Why? Why? Because that's my question. Why is, the, why is this agenda well, being because, pushed? I have my own Well, I, I, I um, understand. It's because, because the gays felt that they were not being treated as equal, an equal American. Okay? In other words, you don't have the same rights tax-wise, all this, uh, you know, other, that, that's, that's the whole gist of it, is that they want the same rights as, as a married couple. That's the whole, that was the whole start of it, to me, was the whole deal. You know, but when, when, go back to that girl. Pat, what's her name again? The girl? Camille. Camille. Yeah. She said that AIDS was a gay disease. Right? Okay, that, that's in, well, I don't have that in these notes here. Oh, those are different but notes? I do have, oh. it, to the link that we'll, I Okay, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do another part. Talk about that. The, the link, it's in, it's in the link that it's I sent you. Yes. Okay. All right, so my, my thing is, why is this, why is this agenda being pushed? And this is just some of the things that I have uh, researched and, and come up with. Um, well, they want to depopulate the earth. That is in the Georgia Guidestones. Guys, look up Georgia Guidestones, and that is one of the goals, oh, okay, right, right. is to depopulate the earth. What better way to depopulate is have, put people together who can't procreate. Well, see, well, see the thing is, that they, 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 you know, it's funny, when I get in a conversation with a lesbian or a homosexual, first thing is they say, oh, first of all, they say, oh, don't, please don't give me your faith answer. And then secondly, it's all about a procreation. And I'm like, well, that's yeah. what Camille said. I mean, right? You know, she's an educator. She's yeah, one of you. She's an educator. She's put her education above her her lesbianism. You know? Wow. So, yeah. So, uh, so I think depopulation, and I think really one of the biggest things is new world order, <laughs> which is uh, basically just the total control and domination of every the Euro human being Euro European in the world. Union. Yeah. Yes. Barack Obama and his all his buddies. Right. So that, that's what it's all about. There is the one percent of, of of people in this world that want total control and yep. domination. Because I mean, think about it. That's what that's what Satan does. Mm -hmm. He wants total control Correct. and domination over you. Mm -hmm. He wants your mind, your will, emotions. He plans these psychological attacks. He tries to get your heart and your mind. I mean, and if Hillary, it makes total sense you, if Hillary to me. gets in, all hell's gonna break loose. It is people, you have no idea what you're about to embark on with this country. Right. And we are not, uh, we're not no, voting we're not, for anybody. <laughs> no, I, I, cause I don't think we're there's not, anybody we're qualified. Not voting for anybody. I don't think there's anybody qualified morally or ethically. Mm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they're all the liars. Yeah, yeah. Every one of them yeah, lie. Yeah. The people, you know, so, I mean, and if we think of Barack Obama's not a liar, I mean, he's a chief liar, okay? He, he stands among the, the elite. He's the first, his, you know what his legacy is going to be? He's the first gay president. Yeah. It was on Time That's right. Magazine That's right. That's right. with a halo, a rainbow halo. That's Go look right. it up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, That's my right. God, I think I would, I think I would die. If somebody said that Angela was the first gay gospel singer, <laughs> which, you know, wow. <laughs> I would know, but I want to say, go back there real quick. I would rather you come out and say you're gay. That's right. I would rather you come That's out right. and say you're gay, singer, yeah, musician. Right. And you know what? Deal with it. Yeah. Deal with your self control. Deal with those. Yeah. Deal with your, 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 your Well, I think there's, there's coming a time uh, very soon, and I mean, and another Christian singer came out and, and said that but he's we, gay. But we got to deal with all so, our issues in life. Yeah. Okay? We all do. Yeah. We all have that's struggles, right. but right. it's not, it's the practice of it that will lead you to self-destruction. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we're not condemning anybody no. who has same-sex no. uh, uh, attraction, attraction right. or that struggle. We're not. Right. We're not talking about, we're talking about the actual practice. Right. Um, and again, God says that it, you will not. I want to go back to your points though. God. I want to yeah. Um, yes, yes. Uh, New World Order, mm -hmm. which will be achieved 
threw order out of chaos. That's why you see so much chaos in this world, because they are going to uh, have people beg for this, you know, for order, and that's why they are creating so much chaos. So, oh, but think so about the, this chaos is being perpetrated. But think how the media does by, it. Honey. Hold on. Mm-hmm. When you go, when you watch CNN them. or these news sources, MSCNBN, whatever they call, right? Yeah. And you watch them. I can't believe the carnage that is actually viewed on television today. Wow. When I was a kid, I never saw that kind of stuff. I mean, that that was not. No, like you know, graphic, dead bodies and graphic, graphic oh, display oh. of people's. It's like it's like people that are on the highway and they see an accident on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Oh look! And, and meanwhile, why do you why do you want to see somebody's demise? What if that was you over there? Yeah. Why don't you just continue yeah. on and pray for them? Yeah. Yeah. Pray that they you know that they yeah. they're safe. But again, they want to desensitize exactly. people. Yep. They want to desensitize. Uh, desensitize uh, yep. straights to homosexuality, yep. transgender, and 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 everything. You know what I'm saying in that in that category. Yep. Um, so guys, this LGBT agenda is going to result in persecution of Christians, and and their biggest goal. Okay, one of their biggest things is that they have to silence the church. Five hundred one c three. That is the biggest thing. They have to silence sure. the church yep. because we're the only ones mm-hmm. pushing back. That's right. You know, through our through our prayers. That's right. Through the speaking of the word of God. Mm-hmm. Through uh through uh d- you know just doing the, doing the will of God. Well, think about this, honey. We're not. We're the, we're the ones that are. We're not. Are holding things up for them. Yeah, but we're not. That we're, way. we're not. We're with. Not only are we being held up. By the gay agenda, but we're being held up by the church. People who tell the truth are held up by everybody. Well, That's why there were, there were, there were martyrs in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know why? Yeah. They made a decision to follow Christ yeah, yeah. no matter what. They spoke the word, Pastor, no matter who was in the room. They weren't concerned about somebody's feelings, they were concerned about. Their soul. Where are you going to be, people? That's the end of the. Where are you going to be if you don't make it here? If you don't make it tomorrow, you know, if if you get, you know, whatever, God forbid something happens to you, where are you going to be tomorrow? Don't wait. Don't we keep this? A it's a it's an ever you know a very ending thing. You know, it's like when I when I, I was sharing with you today when I got saved. You know, when when I got born again. And I kept sinning. And nobody was ever in my face. Wow. Nobody ever said, Angelo, stop. Stop it, Angelo. You cannot do what you're doing and get the result and go to the, have, you know, possess the kingdom. Because your life is, you continue to sin. And, people, wow. and the, the, what people would say was, don't worry, God's working on you. Well, wait a minute. If you give your life to Jesus, if you yeah, say the salvation some, prayer, there is some, there is some truth. Yeah, but, but if you say the salvation prayer, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, it's a half truth. Yeah, is what they do, <laughs> what, what they did, because really they, they 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 pulled me in only to tell me I was saved. Mm-hmm. Now, what if I died? I wouldn't have went to heaven wow. with my life the way it was. Wow. There's no way. Wow. I was not living the life of a believer. Okay. So I can't put, you know, it's like, you know what? That's why we're so passionate yeah. about te- exposing yeah. this stuff yeah. so that you don't, so you can be, when you give your life to Jesus, you can be sure yeah. that you're okay. one of a few. Yeah. Yes. Not one yeah. of the many, but one of the yeah. few. Because many are called, but few are chosen. Right. Because you know what? Because a lot of people don't ever get the education or the understanding of what it means to really be saved. What it really means yeah. to be a believer. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy. It's it's not easy. Yeah. It's yeah, it's easy in the sense that God made it simple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, but yeah. but there are things that we have to do, people. Yeah. And we have yes. to live right. That's right, that's right. We're supposed to um, uh, show fruits of, of repentance. There is fruit of repentance. Um well, I, I see men are being feminized. I mean, again, Bruce 
Caitlyn Jenner, men are being feminized and women and child, mm. women and children are going to go unprotected mm. because men are being feminized. Um, annihilation of marriage and family is what is going to give these people total control. It's going to give them their new world order. Do you see what I'm saying? So the LGBT, again, this agenda has been singled out because it helps achieve this new world order. I mean, it, it, it tears apart Christ, which is the male, okay, which is, symbolizes the male, and the church, yeah. the bride, the female, it, it's tearing it apart, tearing apart Christ and the church. And so this is going to be the single most issue that is going to cause if one people are people are going to be on one side and other people are going to be on the other side, sure. and that's and and it's that's going sure. to cause great division. I, I said that ten years ago. Ten years ago, you told me that this that, is the great divide of this nation. A lot, a long, long oh, time ago. Absolutely. So, wow. I mean, and that's it. You know, another really good definition of the New World Order from the Urban Dictionary that I love. <laughs> it says New World Order: what Democrats want, what Republicans want. What liberals want, what the counterculture wants, what the people don't want. <laughs> Guys, you don't want this. You don't want this new world order where you will not be able to tell a man from a woman. My God. Okay? And think about you it. You don't want this. Obama new world was order. begging his friend over in England to get stay into the European Union. He was begging them. I watched him. And he, even the, the consonants on his face, he was frustrated mm -hmm. that this guy, was lo he was losing his friend, he called him. He said, but then he says, if you don't join, if you don't join in with the rest of the Union, you're not going to get the benefits of being in the whole world order. That's the whole it's deal. A global community. Global community. Okay, that must be another word for it. Right. The well, they change it. Yeah, they because the Freemasonry, that. yeah, that's what they, they do. Because the, yeah. the hidden societies don't want you to know the truth. <laughs> they don't want you to know. Right, when a term becomes unpopular, they have to change it. They have to switch it up. <laughs> right. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, and but see, you know what? Those who have discernment, be Christians, those who have wisdom and don't weaken wisdom, you will know these things. You will see the hidden things because God yeah. will show it to you. He will Amen. expose the hidden things if you seek after him. Amen. And this is what I want to say because I really want to get to the word of God. Um, you know, and, mm. and this is what occurs to me because I, I, of all the, the research that I've done, um, this is one of the things that, that, that I question. Um, if homosexuality is not wrong, then why did Harry Hay the founder of the gay rights movement, mm. why did he consistently advocate the inclusion of NAMBLA in gay pride parades? NAMBLA is, for those of you who may not know, North American Man Boy Love Association. It's a pedophile association and they're trying to legalize pedophilia. So if, if homosexuality is not wow. wrong, Wow. Then why wow. did Harry Hay wow. consistently advocate and march with NAMBLA in the gay pride parades? In the parades, Harry Hay wore a sign on his back that said, NAMBLA walks with me. Harry Hay... Uh, uh, Mam NAMBLA? Yeah. Mam? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. They go after little boys. Mm -hmm. Harry Hay was inspired by Alfred Kinsey, guys. This, this guy, Alfred Kinsey, wow. he was, uh, oh my gosh. He, um, Harry Hay was inspired by Alfred Kinsey, who, again, was funded by mm -hmm. the Rockefellers. And the Rockefellers want to usher in this new world order. Okay? Boy, this is a nice, hot place for the Rockefellers. They have no idea what their money is going to get them. No, it's like the it's like in the Bible where, where it says that Ahab, King Ahab, nobody sold no nobody sold his his soul to evil like King Ahab did. Right. So it reminds me of King Ahab. Nobody sold his soul to evil, sold himself to evil like King Ahab and, and Jezebel did. Mm -hmm. I mean they just sold them sold 
okay, for money, for riches, for all the things in that, and they have all the things in the world, and you know what? They can have it. They can have it, and I will take my soul. So what the Bible says about transgender, because I want to finish this up. I don't think I want to do a part two. Uh, Deuteronomy 22.5, a woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor shall a woman put on a woman's garment, for all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. I married a real woman. Let me tell you something. Amen. My wife is Amen. the most beautiful woman on the earth. I mean, even when you don't have all this get up on, you're still the most attractive, most beautiful woman I have ever laid my eyes on yes. to this day. And wow. that's 24 years later. No, we change. Wow. We all change. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like, but you know what? But when you look at the person, Amen. when you yeah. know the person, yeah. When you know the depth of the heart and the right. and the caring and the trust, you're not just looking at the physical. Yes, right. I know. Right. In other words, yeah. really, what you're really attracted to yeah. is the inside the of the person. person. Yeah, the person. That's what yeah. makes the intimacy. Exactly. That's what makes the passion, yeah. not the outward appearance. Because trust me, they ain't going away, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Beauty is fleeting. Leviticus twenty. I watched the Periscope on Sunday. Do the. If, man, if a man lies with a man as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, okay? So this is the word of God. And so this is my whole thing with transgenderism. And I'm just going to say this, um, that this is, this is my whole take. I believe the devil hates us. And all he and all that he does comes from his hatred toward, mm. comes from his hatred towards God and humans okay the devil comes in the form of thoughts in our minds and works his way into our hearts to cause us to hate ourselves that's right he also uses other people to get us to hate ourselves guys listen to this when we feel hated by a parent we develop self-hatred okay um i used to think that I, 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 I mean, this is in all honesty. I used to think I had, so I mean, that's a blessing that my husband says the things that he does about me because I honestly thought, thought I had body dysmorphic disorder, which world? is a psycho, listen, it's a psychological disorder in a person uh, who becomes obsessed with defects in their appearance, okay? This stems from insecurity, okay? Not feeling comfortable in your body. I felt this way for so long. All growing up, I felt this way. Many young people feel this way. They feel physically flawed. They feel they don't measure up. They feel I'm not beautiful. I'm ugly. I mean, and they obsess about their looks, okay? And, and I did this. I did this as well, even through some of my adulthood, okay? So this might not be compared to transgenderism, but I know how it feels. I know how it feels to hate yourself and wow. to hate everything about yourself, wow. Wow. okay? That's where I was in my life for quite a long time, for too long. That's where I was. That's... I had a spirit of fear. It caused so much depression in my life because of these feelings of worthlessness, okay? I hated who I was. The devil caused me to hate who I was. Please, guys, listen to what I'm saying. It, it was to the point of wanting to commit suicide, okay? That's where I almost went. I almost took my life, God, guys, over this. Saints of God. That's why I want to call you all. Saints of God. Yeah. Um, and if you were a saint, you're an and, it, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and feeling this feeling that, wow, if I can only change the, this physical appearance, if I can only change myself, if I can only be another person, okay, I can be, then be happy. All right? So if I can just be a woman, if I can just be a man, if I can just be this, if I can just be that, oh, then I'll be happy and fulfilled. Guys, transgenderism is not loving yourself or who God created.
created you to be. Becoming the opposite gender will not make you happy. Imagining you are the opposite gender will not bring fulfillment, okay? The battle is against these imaginations, okay? These vain imaginations in your mind. The battle is for your mind and the war is for your heart. Romans 1.21 says, Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. That's in Romans 1, and he is speaking. One of the things that he is speaking to is homosexuality. And he's saying, these are vain imaginations, imagining you're a man, or imagining you're a woman, or wanting to be a man, or wanting to be a woman, okay? Dressing up like a man, or dressing up like a woman. It is a vain imagination. And 2 Corinthians 10, 5 says, to cast down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and to bring every thought to the obedience of Christ. Guys, you have to cause every thought to obey Christ. Cause every thought to obey Christ. Uh, Galatians 5, 14 says, For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in, even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Oh, wait, no, no, I only love my neighbor if he's white. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a racist guy. But see, okay, this, if, I'm, this if says, I'm a racist, but hold on. Yeah. If I'm a racist, can I can I go to heaven? No way. Thank you. No way, because you're not loving your neighbor. Well, it says, see, this says love your neighbor, but it's also saying to love yourself, okay? Do not live your life in self-hatred or self-loathing. Guys, I understand that, okay? I Now, I don't know what it feels like. To want to, to want to be the opposite sex, but I know what it feels like to want to be some person other than myself, okay? I'm just being honest here, okay? This is part of my story. So Psalm 139, and this changed my life, guys, and this can change the everything for you. Psalm 139, 13 through 16, for you were formed, for, for you formed my inward Hearts. Wow. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they were all written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were, there were none of them. Guys, don't you think that this includes your gender? This includes your gender and everything about yourself, including whether you are born male, or God, this, this is this is something that is important to God, okay? When God uh, uh, created man, when He created Adam and Eve, He said, "This is very good. Wow. This is very good. Yeah. Everything else, He said, oh, this is good. Yeah, like right. I made the ocean. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. I made the sky. So He said, that's good. But He made man, and then He made woman, and then He made woman. Whoa, man." <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, and he said, this is very good. Wow. That's what the Lord says about you. This is very good. And God, guys, God has a purpose, okay, for you, for you being born exactly the way you were, okay? So right. let's accept God's plan and God's calling for our lives. And you know what, honey? Love Amen. him the way he wants to be loved. Amen. Who, for who he is. Yes, exactly. He, he loves us for exact, exactly the way we are. 
Right. Yeah, exactly the way right. we were born. Right. He loves us exactly that right. way. Right. He loved us before the foundations right. of the world. Mm -hmm. And so all, all we need to do is learn how to love him just as he is. Just as he is. Just as he is. So Holy. praise God. Hallelujah. 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 My goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I, I hope this, this got out to somebody. I hope somebody was listening with their heart and with their spirit. And um, gosh, that is, that is my prayer for you all, to love your brother and to love yourself and not to live in self-hatred, in, in self-loathing, in worthlessness. Guys, that is the word. Believe me. I know how that feels. When God delivered me through Psalm 139. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. Hallelujah. Do you want to pray? Praise God. Just the two of us. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Just the two of us. Jesus. Just the two of us, you and I, you and I, Jesus. Father God, I just thank you, Lord, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. that you're here with us, Father, that you, your hand is upon our lives, that your hand is upon us, God. Those who are watching tonight, those who are listening tonight, Father God, just have, have them open their ears to the truth. Let them open their ears to show them how much you love them how passionately how incredibly deeply in love you are with yes. them yes no matter what they've done no matter where they've been that they can change they can turn from their sin tonight and be with you for eternity not for a couple of days not because because you know what god you do not lie you're not a man that you should lie Father God, I thank you that you're going to change them tonight. And Father God, you're going to put a passion in their heart for change. You're going to put a passion in their heart for deliverance. Yes, that, they, you, they, that they can be delivered and set free. I pray for those who are struggling in areas that are just unbearable for them to even think or even fathom in their mind. Yes, and as yes. Veronica quoted the scripture tonight, that we have to renew our minds. Yes, you know what? Yes. Think of good things. Think of the. Everything. You know what? If you want to renew your mind, open the Word of God, and He will show you the truth. He will indoctrinate you with His love, with His kindness, with His grace, with His mercy, with His compassion, with His likeness. Father God, I thank you for them. I thank you. If you're, if you're out there tonight, and you know what? You know, if if somebody's not on. I want, to, I want to challenge you tonight to pray for those. Yes, yes. Pray for them. You know what? Intercede for the, that person that you know that may be on your job and your work or, and your friend or relative or brother or sister or mother or father, somebody who needs Christ. And you say, you know what? Tonight, I've got to, I've got to share the gospel with them. I've got to share this truth with them. And you know what? You can do it. You can be the one. You can be that one. You can be the one who lives right. You can be the one who turns a, yes. turns away from lawlessness and, yes. and, and, and all the disgustingness of this world. You can be that leader. Be the leader that God created you to be. That's the purpose and destiny on your life. Your destiny and purpose is not to be just a, a, a follower of this world. Do not follow this world. It will lead you to the place you don't want to go. Yes. Father God, I thank you right now that you're going to change lives. And Father God, I ask right now that you give them the wisdom to speak truth in boldness, in courage, and not, do not be afraid. For God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So I pray that as you minister the gospel, as you minister the truth, that you will give them the truth without fear. And Father God, I thank you right now. So if you're there tonight, if you're, if you're just... Viewing in and you want to give your life to Jesus, tonight is your night. If you want to turn away from homosexuality, transgenderism, adultery, all, all forms of sexual immorality, and you want to denounce it tonight, tonight is your night. Say, Father God. Father God. Tonight, tonight is my night. Is my night. For freedom. For freedom. 
Father God, Father God, I ask for forgiveness, I ask for forgiveness of, all my sins, of all my sins, for all the things I've done. For all the things I've done. Please forgive me, God. Please forgive me. Wash God. me clean. Wash me clean with your blood. With your blood. Your word declares. Your word declares that if I confess you, that I confess you, that you died on the cross. You died on the cross and, uh, and rose again. And you rose again for my sins. For my sins. And I will be forgiven. I will be forgiven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving my life. For saving. For saving my soul. For saving my soul from hell. From hell. And thank you, God. Thank you, God. And I praise you. I praise you. From this night forward. This night forward. I will not turn. I will not turn to my old ways. To my old ways. I am a new creature. I am a new creature in Christ. In Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Tonight God. is your night. Yes. yes it's just yes. you and the Lord. My prayer is for people to see themselves the way God sees them. Because when we are able to see see ourselves through God's eyes, mm. we can love who we are and who <laughs> what God has created. Amen. All right, and we're all God's creation. So praise God. Well, we love you guys. We're a higher place home church. We are loving you to the truth and we will see you next Wednesday uh, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. We love you all. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, bye-bye.